Uh, yeah, it's Wednesday 30th. We thought we'd start in uh, the front car park area. You can probably see it's, uh, the dreaded black fly. There's not so many on this one. There's ants about, there's a ladybird there. So uh, I have doused it in in uh, soapy water. So uh, time will tell. Yeah, been on one or two of these as well, as you can see there. Had them on uh, the broad beans. Okay. We'll have a mosey round the back. Calendula still looking something like. Not had any problems with these round this side with the uh, black fly. Strange is that one. And the sweet pea regained consciousness. So we we'll have to have some more flowers off that to uh, stop seeds coming. Yeah. Susan strawberries. She's getting a, a, a bowl full every day. And I think tonight, looking at this lot, it might be more than a bowl full. Okay, jolly good. Tomatoes I've sat on here. Sweet million. They're uh, doing well, plenty of flowers on. This one is San Mazzano. Some flowers on there and a couple of tomatoes. And the Shirley. All doing well. These are carnations. To go to see how they go. And of course the zinnias. We'll see how they go. Not grown them before. That's another pot with zinnias in. And then the beetroot. And they're not a bad size, those. But uh, we're having bloody birds dancing about. Not to uh, stop this. I wouldn't mind, but there's a couple of tubs down that end that uh, we're actually buying bird seed and putting it on for them. And the pigeons seem to be interested, but the blackbirds don't. They'd rather come in here and dance about. Okay, okay. These two potatoes and those two potatoes are the uh, shirleys that uh, we shall be harvesting hopefully back end of September, beginning of October. As these two was the last to be sown. They're all going to go in here at some stage because I want to uh, I want to fill that bed up with. Uh, Beach road. Okay, we'll plod on. Right, these are the rest of the uh, pickling onions. Doing well. And Susan's red onions that at the moment haven't gone to seed. So we shall be taking those out because I think they are getting soft in the neck. So uh, it's only a matter of time before they collapse. But I mean the size, the size of the onions, they're very good. Okay, these are some more pickling onions that uh, we thought we'd try in here. And I don't know what onion they are. I think they were the ones I took away from uh, the large bed on the other side at Greenhouse. 
So uh, we'll see what they get up to. And here we have the uh, salad onions. And more salad onions. These are all, all the feast. And then we've got the blood red ones. And I think they're blood red on the top. Yeah. Okay. Strawberries keep coming on this one. And then we've got the sweet peas this side as well, looking nice. The outside tomatoes are doing well. These are Crimson Crush, Sun Gold. I think there's another Crimson Crush there. And the Shirley and the Crimson Crush. Okay. The Pongo beans are coming on nicely. We've got four nice tubs, loads of flowers. And uh, you can probably see beans forming. They're getting there. The kohlrabi. Wish we having another one of those with a salad tonight. And the Brussels sprout plant plodding on nicely. Looks like I'm going to have to increase the height of this. Then we have the uh, cauliflowers that I did. The swede plodding on nicely. And the cauliflowers are getting unbelievable. There's a cabbage down there. I keep having to uh, bend the cauliflower leaves on because they're, uh, they're all coming together, which is something I didn't want. And then after a drink, we look of it. I have put a couple of uh, pepper plants in. It's, uh, these are the Hungarian hot wax. We'll see whether they survive or not. Okay. We'll go have a look down the other side. And then we have the uh, runner beans, the firestorm. Plenty of flowers on, but no signs of any beans as yet. I've had the odd, odd uh, flower drop off with nothing to show for it. So uh, I'm tipping they're not getting uh, walked all over with the flies etc and then this side we have the moonlight we've seen uh, plenty of plenty of white flowers and plenty of yellow ones drop off but nothing spectacular happening again but uh, we just have to wait and see these are the uh, potatoes for erica's Shop bought potato challenge. And I've put two there where I've took the broad beans out. Peas, we've had a good mashing of peas off here already. We had uh, on Monday night. It looks like we've got some more to uh, harvest as well. And we've got the uh, cobra beans. We've already had a handful off. We've got some more there. So, calcium being ready for the weekend, but certainly the week after, we should have a good mashing. These are the uh, bolotto beans. Getting the odd flower on, but not uh, not a lot. Not fantastic. In this cage here we have the uh, cabbages that I put in, three cabbages, ground, and I keep saying ground, they're not the, uh, the Durham, 
Get them early. And a couple of tubs of beetroot. The Savoy cabbages are looking okay at the minute. It's not getting arted up just yet, but uh, I can feel that they are starting to bulk a bit. And then we've got the cauliflowers. This will probably have to start taking two at a time out, because uh, I don't want to waste them. Okay, okay. And of course we come down here to the the carrots. Sweet candle in this one. Number 14 is the next one to come out. That's uh, they were all sewn together oh, way back, I think February 19th or something like that. I'll, I'll check on that one. And then we've got this is the tub of the uh, short ones. I can't find the label at the minute. But, uh, there's plenty, plenty of carrots on the go if we can keep the birds out. I've had to net these up to get them to survive. And then there's this courgette plant. We've, uh, we've got a decent sized one in the fridge. We might try a little bit tonight, but I think I shall finish up taking this out. We're not all that impressed with it. Okay, I think that's uh, that's about it. Another harvest of peas, hopefully. Certainly for the weekend. Another plant, set of plants there, getting uh, loads of flowers on. That will do good. Then we've got. The uh, calabrese with shoots up, we'll just take the shoots off and I think uh, that will possibly be the end of those. Then we've got uh, cauliflowers yet again in here. I keep turning the leaves over to stop the sun getting to them. <laughs> so I say sun, we haven't seen any for a few days. Just bear with me one moment. Yeah, things are uh, flooding on steady. They're growing well, it's, uh, we're just waiting up the produce. Okay, I think that uh, that's almost it. We'll have a look in, in here. Radishes are still doing okay. The new uh, salad in lettuce, looking well, and some more radishes to take out today, and the new ones that are sown are already showing through. Okay, beetroot's looking okay in here now, let's hope that it continues to thrive. Okay, okay. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. I've made some changes in the greenhouse. I've took a tomato plant out which was a friend to this one. For whatever reason they were getting to that size and they're splitting. Now I know <laughs> water's supposed to be the problem with splitting but they are actually in the uh, self well self watering into the plants the, with with wicks. So um, I don't know. A couple of tomatoes coloring up again. These are the uh, radishes that I've done for the grandson, and then I've done this morning another two tubs of carrots. Too shown. So we'll uh, see how they go on. But uh, these some really nice 
tomatoes. These are the uh, Super Mama. And this this one at this side is the Super Sauce, and there's only that one that's anything like. And then we have the uh, Alicante. These are really, really good. Certainly be tattling those again. Okay. And of course, the onions and the garlic drain out. Then we've got the basil. Yep, looking good. Right.